Now, welcome to episode 102 of Snow Radio's Retro Lounge. And what are we doing tonight? Well, we're going to be looking at some of the games for the NES that uh, that I've never played before, and we've never played on Retro Lounge either. Both the same thing. Um, we've got a right mixture going on tonight. Again, picked them purely on title. I've got no idea. Well, I've got some idea just because of the names of them. But um, we should get into them and see what we've got ahead of us for the next hour and a half or so. Hour and 45 minutes. Um, oh, hello, Nutty Cluster. Late. It says on purpose. I think she means as always. So it's, it's weird. Must be a typing error. Um, anyway, let's get over to the uh, to the little screen over there. And um, let's get some games on, shall we? Whoop. There we go. Look, NES. And and that little that little fella, that little fella there. We might be seeing him later on. Anyway, spoilers. Um, so we're going to start with a game called Adventures of Lola Three. Now I seem to remember that we played Adventures of Lolo. Two, or maybe one, on a previous episode. Um, so I popped this in just because I recognise the name. So let's have a look, shall we? Screen has already grabbed. That's good. Let's make sure it's the right size for you. Our tell is a little bit wide screenier than. Uh, than the NES was, is, was. Okay. As always, sounds fine to me, but if the noise, if the music of the game is a bit loud, I'm sure the chat room's going to let me know. Okay, what have we got? I'll go into the castle. Mm, leave. Then, I'm guessing. Ooh. Sunny day, keeping the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. round boxy thing. What do I need to figure out? Not a lot of figuring out there. Okay. I don't remember Adventures of Lolo. So, okay. It's going to be like that, is it? He's just building his part up, that guy. Right, what have we got here? make that one into a little oh no is that because I just wasted a shot oh, knob 
I could have got to that. Right, let's try again. So. Oh no. Look at that up, haven't I? Oh no. Got away with it. Just to give me the next puzzle, I don't need to. Oh. Okay, I think I know what goes on here. Oh. Okay. Not what I expected. Um. But I can't. Somebody remember that password. So, yeah, yeah, off to the next one. Oh no, you're gonna make us do it. Oh, tits. Let's leave and go somewhere else. Oh, I have to do level two first. Do I get out? Um. Okay. I've stopped moving at all. Have I broke it? have had a scratch. Let's try again. Is there a level two? Doesn't look like there is. Oh! Cave level one. A bit finicky, finickety, pernickety. It's a bit pernickety about control. I am starting to remember low, low a little bit. Shy talk. Right. So assume that's what that does. Is it gonna get ears? I can only do one at once so apparently. Not even thought about that other pink dragon just then. The one shooting left. Seems easy. Gonna 
saying that now because it's going to get super difficult. Right, so when I run over one of these hats, something's going to... If I push it down, I'm going to be in its path. Yeah. And if I push it up, I will also be in its path. So how am I going to block that? Oh, maybe it's... So, if I do that... Get that one. Yeah, twat. Didn't think about that, did I? Oh. How are we going to do that? Get that one last. But then how do I get that one down there? Oh. So I think we're on to the right track where we get these ones. This doesn't seem so troublesome. And then Then what? And then what? <sighs> so I can hide behind the heart. But as soon as I push it that way, what's the aim? Okay then, Night Cluster, the aim is to pick up all the hearts and open the chest. Have you not been paying attention? And that grey thing. rocks at you or summer but it also does it here as well so I need I don't know if I push that up it's gonna be fine for getting that one I wonder if I can just get this one without it should have died in my ideal world it should have died Ah. 
can't shoot it either. And whenever I pick it up, I stop so that the arrows can get me. Come on, it's got to be something really easy. kill me if I ran into it. Well, it does look like it's asleep. See? Pick up that last heart. So, this is basically a movie, a box round puzzle, but... <sighs> this is just exactly the same problem I'm going to have, but the opposite direction. I think it should go there so I can get that. But then I can't move it. Because as soon as I go past. Last heart, they all die, but that one just fires up that shot off to get you. Oh. I've used all my shots. So you must have shots for something. Right, can't shoot there. is why <laughs> this is why people comment on my YouTube channel saying uh, great show but you missed a load of stuff on on on, um, on that level and it's like yeah I know so I can put them asleep but I I do have shots, but I don't actually, I don't have them at the moment. And there's going to be, I mean, these, come on, these are kids, kids games, why? Why does that go to sleep? any shots left. I must, I wonder if I earn them for getting hearts. I mean, those green ones just go to sleep. I don't think they do any damage. time with Adventures of Lolo 3. Say, I can't even walk on the grass and be safe. It's not like a force field or something like that. It's going to be something really, really stupid. I do understand that. Push it down low enough, did I? Oh, piss off. See, I can hide behind the heart. I just can't pick it up.
So I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I pressed start to pause it, not to a bloody exit. Well, it was driving us batshit anyway. Um, I don't, sh not sure what the dice thing was. There's nothing, there's no button options to change that. that out of the way. How do I... Okay, so I've blocked it there and there. I didn't see that one, bastard. How am I going to get that motherfucker? <sighs> Don't have to be one of those other blocks in it. Oh, I've got no shots left. Oh, yes, I have. In. Should do its job though. So, oh, tits, you stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> Don't you be laughing. None of them died on that level. <sighs> Whoa. Yo, springs from salt. How's it going? this one let's not speak too soon but I felt that was easier that one made sense oh, that's interesting how am I gonna get through there oh I see oh well that's not gonna go well for me is it I 
think it's just the blocker. I don't think it... Oh, oh no. Oh, Houston. Well, what are my options there? Oh, to press that button and start again, I see. Okay, are we going to do the same thing again? Perhaps we need to clear up. Clear up there first. I get this last heart. Yeah, I freaking knew it. However, so Nutty Cluster's doing the old Ronnie, uh, the old two Ronnie sketch where she gives an answer um, that is actually relevant to the. Um, <laughs> it's actually relevant to the. Um, level relevant to the level afterwards so get the last heart first that does mean though that as soon as they go off I'm going to be in the middle of that one the right answer. I mean, it seems to make sense, doesn't it? Perhaps we don't want to be in the middle of them when they all go off. into that one then. Right, so let's see what happens. So our only issue is that, that one, that one, that's the issue. Okay, I think we're getting there, I think we've got Is it better to 
to have a flying glue skull. Oh, I've got no shots now. Hey, look, we've spent far too long on this game. Far too long. Um, we're not going to get a chance to see anything else at this rate. Adventures of Lolo 3. There you go. It's gone. We're going to move on. You can't believe we spent nearly... Well, spent nearly half an hour on that freaking game. Stupid game. Um, oh, dear. Right. We're going to move on to the super manly titled Bad Street Brawlers. Or Brawler. <sighs> Let's see if we can cleanse our palate. Well, this might save us some time. It might just not work. Right, we're not playing that then. Even if I had have started it to check if it worked, that's as the only that's as far as I would have got. Oh dear. Okay, we'll move on to Bucky O'Hare. Hey, at least that one started. Blinky, Dead Eye, Jenny, Willy Fight. Is that. I assume that's another person and not an activity. Save the Anniverse. Anniverse? Oh, do you know what? I thought this would be more like a Sonic the Hedgehog type platformer with a cute rabbit. But it's starting to look like a spaceship shoot you up. A shmup, you could say. Set to left to right. Oh no, maybe I'm maybe I was maybe I was right. Bucky O'Haw. We'll start with the green planet. Ooh. Oh, it is. It's Sonic. Sonic the Green Rabbit. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? The Willy fight is just going a bit far, you're right. Ooh. Oh, don't like them. How am I supposed to get up there if I can't? Shoot the nest. Yes. Oh no. Oh, get away from me.
Oh. God, I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Oh. Twice I've done that. What did the last time? friendly either, is it? Oh, why can't I get that? Oh no, can't get that high. There we go. He jumps randomly when he shoots someone. See that? I was actually aiming for the log. Now, how do I get that? I would have to be on the log that I'm not going back for. T arrives, says hello, then leaves. She's obviously not interested in Bucky O'Hare. Why did why did you jump then? Why did you jump? should continue a little bit, shouldn't we, since we didn't play the other one. Expect that. <sighs> Just that split second too long. <laughs> hey, I got that coin though. Alright, 
look, we've seen Bucky O'Hare. We've seen part of the first stage of Bucky O'Hare. So, there you go. Let's move on to um, the super manly sounding Captain Skyhawk. Again, I've got no idea what sort of game we'll be in for. Oh, an MB Games. Oh, it's much to do with flying. You do surprise me. Destroy enemy base. Oh, no. Wow. Can I climb? I can't climb higher than the cliff. I can't see his plane this very long. This is as high as I go. Very narrow canyon. Oh. Don't have any of the big artillery left. Bleeding cliffs. Just jumping out in front of you. Keep moving, left, right, left, right, keep moving. Watch the cliffs. He says, running into a cliff. Oh no. Oh my. Richard.
gotta nab it. Nearly got it. Uh, do we play it again? Or was that shite? Let's see where we are in the list. We've still got plenty of games to go. I don't know. Oh, looks like I don't have any choice. Captain Skyhawk. There you go. Captain Skyhawk. Wow. Um, kill K. Let's move on. We're going to move on to G. For G.I. Joe. Oh. There we go. G.I. Joe. Presented by Taxan. See what GI Joe had to offer us back in the nineties. No idea how I picked them. It's not going to bode well for the gameplay, is it? This way, so I can punch you in the ankles. In the UK, we didn't have GI Joe. We had Action Man, the greatest hero of them all, uh, who was exactly the same toys, just renamed. I think. Uh, but I don't know who any of these people. Are.
guess I'm just jumping over these. I don't think I can attack him. Oh. Maybe I can punch it? No. Apparently can't punch an aeroplane. Last guy. Come on, you could, No, come on. Come on. Yeah, shy hawk. Tactics failure. I think it means don't punch an aeroplane. Uh, anyway, that was G.I. Joe. A real American hero. Okay. So, as I was, um, as we were pre gaming this afternoon, I did say to Naughty Cluster, oh, it's a bit of a manly selection of games, this. 
We've got G.I. Joes, Captain Skyhawks, Bad Street Brawlers. It's all testosterone -y. And now we're coming to another one. Yes, we're going to have a look at Ikari Warrior. So, let's get that one up. I am conscious that I'm going to want to leave a little bit of gas in the tank for the last game. Because I think it's a biggie. I think it's possibly a game that deserved its own... Um, its own episode. But uh, I'd heard it was very difficult. And I thought, that's not for me. So... Let's see what happens. We'll get to it eventually. Ikari. Oh, should we shoot a gun shoot? Watch out, he's got a shooter. So it truly, truly is a schmuck, this one. Nothing's been as good as the girly puzzle game. What are you talking about? Yeah, it was. It did take up the most time. I need to get out of that shotgun range style. I used to play an arcade game called Commando that this reminds me of. Oh, my dad. That didn't take very long. No, so we have to watch this animation every time we start. Because we're going to be starting a lot. Yeah, so we used to play Commando in the arcade, and you remember me, um, my super controller that's behind me on the shelf. That used to be one of the um, ClackVision games that uh, you could play with it. Powerful in tank. Oh, I'll be dead. Is that it?
One more time. One more time. Time, aren't I? It's because I walked into an explosion. Well, welcome to the shortest game of Ikari Warriors in history. You'll only find it here on Retro Lounge. I know I said one more, but one more. Don't grenade me when I've just got out of my tank. Fuck off! <sighs> Bastards. That was Akari Warriors! I've noticed the length of the time that we're playing these games has got gradually shorter. First one was half an hour and we played about five in the other half hour. Uh, there you go, Akari Warriors. Feels to me a little bit like Commando. I used to like Commando. Anyway, let's um, move on to our next manly game. Um, it's Narc. Um, or it will be Narc if I can find it. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, well, how manly is that? It's the Stig's chubbier brothers. Oh, we're off. And then he was just looking right at my gun and just not having any of it. Just keep 
keep my thing on. supposed to be shooting these people or arresting them. I'm out of bullets. supposed to be <laughs> difficult to get hold of them though oh well my dad again shall we now that we plot well, know what we're doing died a lot quicker by doing the right thing and busting them and sending them to prison. I feel shooting them in the face keeps me alive longer. And you can quote me on that. very well sending them to prison but I get shot lots. Get out of it. How, how am I supposed to? I can't shoot the dog. <sighs> did I get? I, did, I didn't see what I got points wise then. I don't know if I got more points for putting him in prison or. Um, Shooting their faces off. Okay, what do we think of Nark? It was all right, I guess. Um, I see that this this show is going to be quite short. 
Um, primarily because one game didn't work and then a lot of the other games... I mean, it is the NES. We're going back quite a ways. Um, not as far back as the Atari. Or the ColecoVision, I might add. But we are going back some ways. So, our next game is... Renegade. Renegade. There we go. So what, what we got with Renegade? Oh, it looks like um, Rock Subi Dubri City. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, not one chance to work out what the buttons are yet. Leave me alone. Why are you kicking the wrong way, you stupid, stupid head? I feel we've played this before. Or a game very much like it. See? Don't kick that way. Why is he only kick that way? Oh. Playing this very long either. Stop kicking out. Why don't not? right away and I can't get to grips. Look, I can't even get... Look! Some reason it looks like Hitler to me. Well, Nutty Cluster. What can I say? Is it because he's dressed in brown? Um, you, I mean, look, I'd really. I don't want to play that again. The controls don't work how I expect, and it's super difficult. Uh, but that was Renegade. So, let's hope this next one is a good one. And, you know, I'm still not sure how long we're going to be playing it because, uh, by golly, this is called Rockman, but you know it better as Mega Man. And I think it used to be, in fact, it might have never got onto the wheel because I heard it was so difficult. Um, so, this is um, what Mega Man was called in Japan. There he is. There he is. Look, he's over there. And he's over there. Let's see. Cut man. 
so cold because he cuts things. One of Sue's. So what have we got? At least we've got a chance to check out. Belong a bit long. Oh. Oh. You know, before we started this, I did think maybe we should put Mega Man on the wing. But you know what? Probably not bothered. look at it and we're not playing anymore <laughs> that was Rockman on Mega Man 
Um, we may do. We may do some. I'm not sure. I want to punish myself to a whole a whole episode just on Mega Man. Although I am thinking of doing the bringing back the um, the Sonic segment and the Mario segment, possibly the Kirby segment. So we we might be doing single episodes on characters. If you know of a character that has um, a lot of epic, a lot of games dedicated to it, then um, let us know. We might add them as a segment on the wheel. Uh, talking of the wheel, let's get the wheel up, shall we? And um, see, whoop, there we go. I've been playing around. See what we're doing next week, and then we'll talk more about our character segments that are going to populate this wheel. Uh, right. Oh, wheel, what are we doing next week? Master System. All right, we don't play a lot of Master System. Um... So we'll find a bunch of games that we've not played on the Master System. Now, I've got a feeling there'll be a similar quality. They were about the same age, the Master System and the NES, give or take. So, um, uh, yeah, the precursor to the Mega Drive. The, the older. Okay, cool. Let's go back to this window then um, to say thank you. Thank you for joining us for a, a, a shorter than normal um, retro lounge. Just one of those things. It's just how the games go. Um, if you want, you can email us retro at snugradio.co.uk retro at snugradio.co.uk that's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. Um, if you're watching us live on Twitch at 7 o'clock on a Mondays, hello and thank you. Um, and if you're watching us on YouTube, then did you know that we broadcast live on Twitch on a Monday from 7 o'clock? Um, we're also Snug Radio in many other places. Um, YouTubers we've mentioned uh, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and of course Twitch goes without saying you find us everywhere as Snug Radio moderator extraordinaire Nutty Cluster has a de design shop which has got some um, some stunning pop art dogs at the moment they're a newest creation so you can find her over at Inkyspiration on Redbubble There'll be a link, there'll be a spellings and all sorts in the uh, show notes or wherever you're watching this video. Um, go over there and buy something nice. I also have a design shop on Redbubble and Threadless and that's called The Glorious Idiot. There'll be a link to that shop in the show notes as well. If you'd like to support the show in any way, buy something from either of those stores would be fantastic. Thank you. Um... What else is there? There's the Discord. Yes. Do you want to come and chat? Do you want to meet up with the rest of the Snug Radio crew uh, who are all in there? Uh, then you can join us on our Discord. The link, as always, is in the show notes or this video description somewhere. Um, I think that's everything. So, without further ado then, uh, I've been Matt. This has been... Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time. Play something retro. Bye!